Dear Capricorn, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. I'm going to be doing the same format as last time of past, present and future. It's still going to be a love reading. Okay, Capricorn. So can I get the past energy for Capricorn, please? The past energy for Capricorn. Page of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. And the Fool in Reverse. Hmm. Okay, can I get the present energy? Too many cards. The present energy, it's the Four of Cups. The Magician. And the Knight of Cups in reverse. Oh, it seems like I'm picking up on another. There you go, the Devil in reverse for the future energy. The Ten of Wands. And the Page of Swords in reverse. And now the overall. It's the Two of Cups. So this is talking about a, um, a soul connection, right? With the Two of Cups. Two people coming together. A very spiritual connection, especially when you look at these cards, right? Two energies coming together. But uh, for the past energy, I see the Page of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Fool card in verse. So someone is feeling like they've missed an opportunity in love here. Like um, they didn't take this uh, leap of faith here with the Fool card showing up in reverse, even though there's love here with the Page of Cups, right? Um, you could have someone new in your life with the Page of Cups. But I feel like the both of you are not together as well with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Fool card in reverse. But nonetheless, I feel like with the present energy, it's the Four of Cups, the Magician and the Knight of Cups in reverse. So someone is um, trying to manifest something out of this, con uh, this connection, but all it's doing is making them to feel disappointed with the Four of Cups in reverse. And the Knight of Cups in reverse is telling me that this person is not able to express how they feel here. Uh, so for the future energy, I see the Devil in Reverse and the Ten of Wands. So this could be you somewhat moving on uh, here with the, as the Ten of Wands in Reverse and with the Page of Swords in Reverse. There may not be any sort of communication here, uh, just possibly a watchfulness. So the Ten of Wands talking, talks about something nearing completion. And as you can see, this person's traveling, sort of like moving on here. But let me clarify, okay? Let's clarify this Two of Cups energy. One second. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Okay, let's clarify this Two of Cups energy. The Seven of Pentacles. Oh, someone's missing you uh, with the Seven of Pentacles. Or you could have invested a lot of time and energy into this connection. Um, but let's keep going. So there could be some nostalgic feelings. Oh, there we go. Ace of Wands. So this is talking, okay, that makes sense now. Oh, look at that, the Queen of Swords. And the Page of Cups again. Ooh. <laughs> um, this makes sense. Uh, so uh, this is, this, it seems like someone has a lot of passion towards you. Um, but you could be coming across as this Queen of Swords, so someone that's kind of guarded here. Uh, <laughs> um, 
This person has a lot of passion for you. They have, and they, they want to offer you their cup here. You could have invested a lot of time and energy into a past connection and it didn't pan out for you, right? But it seems like this could be a new energy that wants to invest their time into you. But you could be coming across as somewhat guarded as this Queen of Swords. Um, let's clarify this Page of Cups energy, though. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so I don't feel like this person is pulling away with the Six of Swords in reverse, though. <laughs> Page of Wands in reverse. But I, I, there, there's a possibility of there not being any sort of communication here. So if this is um, a past energy, they're, they're missing you, okay? Um, they do want this passion and new beginning, but you're coming across as somewhat guarded here. Uh, but um, so this person's not moving. And there you go, the magician. It seems like someone does want to manifest um, this connection into the 3D, okay? Because the magician is showing up twice and they want it badly. Um, they, they carry a lot of love for you with a page of cups showing up twice. So let's clarify this ace of pentacles in reverse, but there isn't, look at that justice in reverse. Things haven't been made right. Eight of cups. So you could be walking away. Oh, that's too many cards. Because things weren't made right. Nine of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Uh, it seems like because there, there was no brand new opportunity in love here, it could have made you somewhat unhappy. So you possibly decided to walk away. Okay. Let's clarify the Fool card in reverse. So there wasn't any sort of brand new beginning in love here. Look at that, the Two of Swords. So... Page of Swords. Hmm. It seems like someone wants to communicate something to you, but you could be guarded. There you go, when I said communication, this freaks me out. It's the Eight of Wands and the Page of Swords. So someone wants to communicate something to you, right? Swiftly. Uh, but with a Two of Swords, you could be somewhat guarded, or this could be talking about blocked communication. Someone really want to ma manifest uh, this connection into the 3D. The Magician is showing up twice, the Page of Cups and twice. So someone really has um, feelings for you. They're not moving on with the Six of Swords. They're not pulling back. Let's clarify the Four of Cups energy. The Five of Cups. The Knight of Wands. And the Four of Cups showing up in reverse. So you could be uh, somewhat disappointed, possibly trying to get over this loss, but I see someone really, um, someone passionately heading towards you. Um, and they're hoping for things to work out. So your view of this is different from their view. Okay, so let's clarify the Magician card. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands. Hmm. I really see you having your guard up here as the Seven of Wands. Uh, where your person could have been stuck at a crossroads, I don't feel like that's the case anymore. Uh, you could be confused about this, 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 this energy here. 
That's why you could have your guard up. Nine of Pentacles energy in reverse. You could be still in the process of healing. Focusing on your pentacles and independence. But nonetheless, I feel like someone's heading towards you and they're trying to manifest something out of this uh, connection. But let's clarify this Knight of Cups in reverse. Oh, oh boy, God. There's a Devil card. That's you, though, but it's just like, let me get two other cards. Ace of Swords in reverse. That's too many cards. The Knight of Pentacles. So someone... You may not be aware of it, that there is an energy heading towards you, though. That's feeling passionately towards you. Because they haven't expressed it. They're kind of obsessed. There could be some there there could be obsession here, a bit of an obsessiveness here. Cause this person <laughs> it's like the magician twice, right? If that's not someone wanting to manifest something out of this. You, like, you're throwing out your defenses here, uh, Capricorn. Um, let's clarify the devil in reverse, though. King of Swords. So I see the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. Ten of Cups in reverse. The Five of Pentacles. Um, let me clarify this Ten of Wands energy. Yeah. <sighs> it just seems like with the ten of you, you could be trying to get over feeling left out in the cold here, the chariot. It just seems like you want to move on with the ten of wands and the chariot card because um, it's possible that this person couldn't offer you stability. Look at that, the hangman. But let's get another card. Okay, two cards wanted to come out here. Ace of Cups. <laughs> the hair font. Um, okay, so this is really interesting. Um, picking up on possibly two simultaneous energies going on here. Um, it seems like s there's fast, moving head fast movement heading towards you, okay? Um, a brand new beginning in love here and possible commitment, right? But there's another, um, so you could be fending off a past energy that didn't offer you commitment or stability. But I see the chariot, the hanging man, the ace of cups and the hair font here. So this is someone that this is talking about a brand new beginning in love here. Possible commitment. So you could be moving away from a past energy and into this, something new. And you may not be able to see it, this head, this energy heading towards you. Okay, uh, but let's clarify this page of swords in reverse. Ten of pentacles. Well, it seems like someone does want to have this, you know, um, strength in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's still a past energy that's still watching 
or they're still lingering here. Um, so um, you could have been dealing with a past energy that was not able to, um, like, I feel like you invested a lot of time and energy and they didn't offer you anything substantial here, right? Um, and um, there could have been confusion regarding that. But I, nonetheless, I still see um, a possible brand new beginning in love here. Someone really wanting to manifest this, this connection into the 3D. They carry a lot of love for you here. So I see the Ten of Pentacles. So I see someone wanting to offer you stability. Okay. There seems to be a brand new beginning in love. Possible commitment. Possible even marriage. Um, so, But it's up to you whether you want that, right? Um, right now. Since you seem to be in the process of healing here. Working on your independence. All right. So you could even be holding this person at bay here, maybe wanting to take things slowly. Okay, so this was an interesting reading. Um, so that's my reading for you, Capricorn. I hope you got better insight into the situation that you may be experiencing. But it seems like someone really wants to manifest this connection into the 3D. The Magician showed up twice and the Page of Cups showed up twice. Um, you could be in the process of focusing on healing, focus on your independence, right? Um, and you could be somewhat guarded here, given the fact that you may have invested a lot of time and energy into a past connection, right? So nonetheless, I feel like there is an energy that wants commitment here. They want this brand new beginning in love. Um, but maybe you could be somewhat indecisive here, right? Still trying to get over feeling left out in the cold, possibly from the past energy. You could even be trying to remain logical here as well. All right. Um, so that's my reading for you. And I'll see you next time. Take care.